right guys welcome back to another episode of project zomboid what we're going to do today is i want to show you guys how to uh mod project zomboid it's uh pretty simple the map uh modding the map is actually the uh one of the easiest uh things that you can do to project zomboid and normally uh unless they they change the map it's not going to affect uh, any of the other game options or how the game is played other than adding more buildings uh more things for you to explore because i've uh, had map mods installed since uh back early build 28 or before and uh, I've never had a problem with the updates uh, dealing with the map mods now there's certain mods that add weapons and things like that they will break so I, I've kind of gotten away from those so today I want to show you guys how to uh, mod uh, the map uh, it's pretty easy but it's quite a bit of a uh, stuff that you have to go through to get all of the different maps so what we're going to do, we're going to start off with the uh, map. Everybody's seen this before. If you've played Project Zomboid, the uh, map project, you want to go to uh, click Overlays and uh, Bedford Fall and Dreadwood. And um, what you can do is is you Google search uh, Dreadwood and Bedford Falls and you download these maps. And uh, this is what you'll get. You'll get these two extra towns basically, uh, you know, as files downloaded to your uh, downloads folder. Okay, so once you get the uh, files, you want to go ahead and get uh, both of these, Dreadwood, uh, Bedford Falls, and you want to download the, uh, the Walking Dead Prison. All you have to do is Google search it, you'll find the file. But the difference between this file and these files is these files have cells that have already been uh, set up for the files. So basically when you download these files, uh, Dreadwood is actually going to overwrite a piece of uh, Moldry which is basically this section here which is you know basically nothing out in the middle of nowhere in the regular game so they basically deposited this town you know uh here on this part of the map as you can see this is uh this is what you get for your moldry map this line here going all the way down here and here is your moldry map so it oh it actually overwrites a piece of the moldry map and uh the same with bedford falls now uh, i'm i should warn you that if you look down here you can see that the road is actually connected to the road uh, that goes here to Moldry but it's actually not it looks like that on this map but when you actually install this map it's actually off by uh, a, a little bit so basically this road will put you directly into this forest here somewhere so I would advise you if you get to this point to go left until you see this road because I, I end up making the mistake of having to fight through all of these trees till I got to one of these little uh, pathways here that I could take through the um, you know the bush but it took me at least 30 minutes to push my way through this these thick trees here so I wouldn't advise that so okay once you download those and um, if you watch my last video you know that I have the Walking Dead prison installed on this section here which you can see here you see this cell number this is the numbers that are important wherever you want to install the Walking Dead prison at you want to uh, find a good spot wherever you want to put it at uh, I wouldn't advise putting it in a town because it'll erase uh, buildings whatever uh, you know cell that you use for that file it will erase everything else in that part of the file so if you don't want to erase part of your towns I wouldn't advise putting it you know um, you know anywhere like that so alright what we're gonna do is, is uh, you can pick a spot and as you can see here you see these numbers changing 36 35 37 34 so actually this is the cell that I'm using 37 33 is the cell that I'm using for my walking dead prison because basically the cell is gonna take off a big chunk this whole cell is gonna basically become the prison so you're gonna have a lot of uh, uh, area to explore and then you're gonna have the prison in the dead center and then it, it just makes it a lot easier to get to the prison because you can leave this neighborhood get on the tracks follow them down and they will basically lead you directly into the cell where the walking dead prison is so now that we understand how we want to we have the files you have your overlays you have your bedford files your dreadwood and your walking dead prison files download it so let's go here and we'll look at my downloads <clears throat> So as you can see here, you see Dreadwood, Bedford Falls, and Last Stand Prison. So this is basically, uh, as you can see, uh, these numbers will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So these are the, the headers, the lot headers. So basically, whatever numbers you put in here is where that's going to be placed on your map. 
I picked a nice open area, but you can pick any one you want. Just find the coordinates here and use those cell numbers. So then you want to uh, go back and you'll grab these files. Let's close this down and we'll go to the other area that I have open. Let's see, that's not that. Let's go to common. You're going to find your uh, Steam Apps common folder, Project Zomboid. You're going to go down here to uh, media, open up media, and go down to maps. That's it. Now, you have all your files already. You have your Bedford Falls. You have your um, Dreadwood is actually going to go in the Moldrie, uh Kentucky file. So basically, you go to the Moldry Kentucky file. You open it up. You open up your uh, Dreadwood folder. Let's go back to the download so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. We'll see how there's Dreadwood. There's Dreadwood. You're going to open up Dreadwood, and you're going to grab all of these files. You're going to grab them all. You're going to do the, the, the standard copy-paste, whatever. And then you just drop those in the Moldry uh, Kentucky file, and it will basically rewrite all of those uh, lot headers for that town, which is basically nothing but woods out in the middle of nowhere. So that's a pretty easy one to do. You're not going to lose too much, but a bunch of you know middle of nowhere woods and get a whole town for your effort. So I think it's worth it. Then you want to go to Bedford Falls, and um, Bedford Falls has its own folder, its own spawn points. So basically, you just drop Bedford Falls in the uh, folder. You're just going to drop that one in uh, in the maps folder by itself. It has its own folder, and it'll have a spawn point when you start the game and everything. So that one's pretty easy as well. And there's just a little bit of difference between uh, doing the uh, prison because the prison, you actually have to change the header, the, the numbers. These numbers, when you download this file, are going to be 0000. So you have to actually pick where it's going to go. That's the only difference between this one. You know, you basically, you know, you want to um, rename and you change these numbers to whatever you want. So that's where that's going to be. And once you get those two files, uh, change to the numbers that you want you basically just grab these files and you're gonna drop them into the multi folder and that's it you're gonna copy and paste and it's gonna ask you do you want to overwrite and you say yes and overwrite and then that's it then once you've installed those you don't have to do anything special you can close these windows down and uh, basically you want to just start uh, project zomboid let's go ahead and start a quick little game here so you guys can see uh, there's not going to be any crashes or anything weird going on. Just realize that you are overwriting parts of the, you know, original game map. You know, just take that into account. If you, uh, you know, you don't want to pick a, a, a place to download the prison mod right in the middle of Moldry because it's basically going to erase a large square of buildings and drop the prison wherever you put those numbers on. So, as we can see, we're going to go here to Sandbox. We're going to go to New. And as you can see, we have Bedford Falls, Kentucky as a, a different spawn point. And if you go to Moldry, you can spawn there. You'll end up, uh, you know, getting one of the two spawn points. Maybe you'll get the good one and you'll be really close to the prison if you use my uh, n uh, coordinates. But um, other than that, that's, pr that's pretty much it. That's the, uh, the easiest way to mod Project Zomboid to get the most bang for your buck for modding the game. So... Uh, if you guys uh, have any questions, leave a comment. If you like the video, leave a like. Um, really appreciate you guys watching Project Zomboid, my series, and uh, subscribing to my channel. And, um, you know, if you have any questions, uh, you can always just uh, leave me a message or anything like that, and I'll get back to you guys. But as you can see, it's really, really pretty simple. You know, probably the hardest thing is going to be typing into Google, uh, searching for the map. But as you... And as you can see, you type in map, and it pulls up Dreadwood already. And if you look right here, you'll see Bedford Falls right here. So um, it's not hard at all. Just type in Project Zomboid map. Well, uh, let's go ahead and open it up just to show you guys. Let's go ahead and open up a second window. And what we'll get here is we'll get the Dreadwood download page, and we'll get the Bedford Falls, which is pretty easy. It has a little explanation about it, you know, telling you about the map. It hasn't been updated in a long time, at least uh, since April, it looks like. But with the, the good thing about the maps is that they really don't change game mechanics, you know, at all. You know, they're just adding buildings or adding terrain. So it really doesn't change anything with the game. You know, you can forge. Now, I'm going to tell you this. When you install the, uh, the Zomboid map, um, the prison map 
forging can be done on the grounds of the prison actually inside the gate because the game still considers that area to be forged so you can still forge from that area i don't know if it's a glitch or it's just you know the game still believes that there's just force there but you can do that that's about the only glitch that i've seen but it really doesn't make a difference you know you can forge anywhere anyway except for inside of towns and here's the download for um the map uh, for uh, Bedford Falls just download it and follow the instructions and install it and you won't have any problems so I hope this uh, helped you guys understand how to mod uh, Project Zomboid and um, really appreciate you guys like I say and uh, I'll see you guys next time